Good morning. The Home Secretary is facing the threat of legal action over delays in the visa process for Ukraine refugees. Pressure groups say they are taking the first step towards a class action case. Well, it comes after Boris Johnson yesterday pledged a further £300 million of military aid to the country ahead of an address to the Ukrainian parliament. Meanwhile, more EU sanctions against Russia are expected to be announced later this morning. In Lviv overnight for the first time in over a week. Obviously, we've had this good news about the successful evacuation of some civilians from the steelworks in Mariupol. But as a consequence, Russia is now intensifying their attacks there, aren't they? in Ukraine. Now also this morning reports are emerging that police have allegedly found fibres from Madeleine McCann's pyjamas in prime. Elephants should no longer be kept in zoos. That's according to the international wildlife charity Born Free. It today launches a new campaign calling for urgent measures to bring the keeping of elephants in zoos to a humane end as a matter of priority. They are kept in humane conditions. You're up to date with the sports news now. Despite an early scare, Liverpool are through to the Champions League final after coming from 2-0 down to beat Villarreal 3-2 last night. They'll now face either Man City or Real Madrid at the Stade de France in Paris on the 28th of May. Our correspondent Nick Drupal still very much alive. Morning. I mean, I think it's fair to say the fans were extremely excited, <laughs> weren't they, at the result. No doubt a few sore heads, I imagine, this morning. I thought the interview with the fans actually eclipsed her interview with Boris. <laughs> Very much. Good morning. Bringing you up to date with the headlines now. There's been fresh bombing in the Ukrainian city of Lviv and anti-abortion campaigners outside the court in Washington, D.C. Elephants should quadruple. We will see. You're up to date. Absolutely. Thanks. <laughs> I think, I think <laughs> you're right. amazing. <laughs> no, exactly. have a very serious look on your face. Yes. I'm not sure that helps either, yes. does it? Yeah. Um, oh. Good morning. Breaking news now. And the EU's just unveiled proposals for new sanctions on Russia, plus a ban on Russian oil imports. Well, the plans, which need member states' approval, also include sanctions on individuals, including the head of Russia's Orthodox Church. Meanwhile, Russian missiles struck three power stations in Lviv late last night, causing blackouts in the western city. That's according to its mayor. We can measures aimed at hitting Russia. However, the bombs just keep continuing, don't they? That's right. Now, also this morning, reports are emerging that police have allegedly found fibres from Madeleine McCann's... And to bring you up to date with the sport, despite an early scare, Liverpool are through to the Champions League final after coming from 2-0 down to beat Villarreal 3-2 last night. Well, they will now face either Man City or Real Madrid at the Stade de France in Paris on the 28th of May. Quadruple, they will be very pleased about the fact they're still very much alive. Thanks very much, Nick. I mean, you, you wonder what the celebrations will be like if they do manage to get the quadruple. I think that'd be quite spectacular. I think if they? you want a visual definition of Absolutely. a wonderful interview. Charlotte, thank you very much. Thanks indeed. a lot, Charlie.